People on Governor Youngkin's desk aimed at holding auto insurance companies responsible for bad faith behavior could lead to an increase in your premiums. At least that's what some representatives with insurance companies are saying. Emily Harrison takes a closer look at the bill and how it could impact every Virginia driver. It's not something most people enjoy doing, but it's legally required paying your auto insurance. But some attorneys say it can be hard to actually get the coverage you pay for once you get into an accident. I've done my part. You know, is the insurance company going to do their part? And people are shocked to find out that, uh, you know, that they don't. A new Senate bill could speed up the process by penalizing insurance companies who, quote, act in bad faith. This happens when companies get caught trying to avoid paying their contractual obligations, sometimes dragging the matter through a lengthy court battle. I have to tell them, no, they essentially step into the shoes and become your adversary. Uh, and there's really nothing that guarantees that they're going to treat you fairly. But people working for several insurance companies are pushing back, saying it could raise drivers premiums as much as 19 percent. The American Property Casualty Insurance Association released a statement saying, quote, comes at a time when individuals, families and businesses can least afford it. However, some Virginians are questioning why prices would go up since these companies should never be acting in bad faith. Uh, I think it's a good thing. They should be held accountable the whole time. I mean, unless it's written in my contract that they're not going to cover it, it should be covered. Emily Harrison, 13 News Now.